and, a, and potentially a full lineup here for you? Potentially, yeah. I think, um, you know, Kyler is a heck of a player. Uh, someone who brings a little bit of personality to our team, a little bit of um, – he gets a lot of work done for his line mates and his teammates, and he's a popular guy in our dressing room, so that'll be a good shot in the arm for us. Different look for the Flames. Um, talk specifically about their look down the middle. They've got maybe spurse things a little differently, have a little more strength down the middle, and how that changes the matchup a bit. Yeah. Um, I think they're a good hockey team. I think they're, you know, they have um, four lines that can all play. Um, you know, they've got a lot of skill, obviously, with some of their new, new faces. And, um, you know, for us tonight, we're going to re really need a laser-type focus and uh, total commitment to our game plan and our process tonight in order to take, uh, take on uh, that type of team. It's going to come in tonight. Who do you think has uh, more pressure, the players or the number one and number two most handsome coaches going head-to-head -head in the NHL? Had to ask that, eh? You had to ask that. Um, yeah, next question. All right. How is uh, Calgary's defense different? Uh, and I know the focus is on your end, but Mackenzie Weger is a really good player. Yeah. He has a different dimension. Maybe, I mean, that's a, that was a good defense last year, but just a thought on, on his addition and maybe how it changes what you guys might do for, if it does change anything at all, forecheck-wise and that sort of thing. Yeah, I think their they're back end's like their forward group. They have a lot of really good players there. Weger obviously passes the puck really well. Um, had a good year in Florida last year and um, someone that their group really believes in. So uh, that, that's good for them. That's them. Our focus is on us, as I said, uh, our game plan, our process. And in order to have the success that we are going to want to have, we're going to need a laser type focus tonight. Evander Kane basically knocked out Nazem Kadri in the playoffs last year. Does that add any more fuel to the fire tonight? Well, he was knocked out of our series, in, and Evander was suspended, if you remember, for that game. But he came back and played um, the next round in, in uh, the Stanley Cup final. Um, yeah, like I said, they've added some, uh, some good pieces. They have a different look to their group. Um, I would say that we added some pieces, too. We might have a little bit of a different look as well. You had uh, McLeod on the wing all camp. Uh, and then the first game, sort of, you had less forwards, and it was a bit of a mix. Yeah. Uh, and now you have him at center. What's the thought process? What do you what What do you do in that? Yeah, I think he's a real versatile guy. I think that's one of his key attributes. Um, something that he brings to the table. I think uh, he has the ability to move move lines, move in and around the lineup, and I think part of that versatility up front of movable pieces on the chessboard, I think that makes us a, a dangerous team. And, um, you know, I'm a huge advocate of Ryan's. Uh, he plays in every situation for us and, and down the middle. You know, that's a lot of speed down the middle on, on all four lines for us. Is it, is it your goal to go through a game with the four lines that you start? Or do you sometimes start a game and go, I know that I'm going to change these lines up at some point. Well, I think it's it, when you're going 11 forwards, you understand it's going to be a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, you know, there's times where I think um, it requires a steady hand on the rudder and sticking with what your original plan was. And then there's times where as a coaching staff, we might not love what we're seeing and, and we're not afraid to, to change things up. Uh, the biggest thing is, and this is what I would, keep, I would keep coming back to, is that I think we have a lot of really good players. Um, and when you have a lot of really good players, it means you can have that type of flexibility. Um, I have a strong belief in each, each person we dress and uh, the contribution that each person bring, brings to our team is not only valued by their teammates, but certainly by their coaching staff as well. Good, thanks guys.